We're talking about what everyone's been talking about for days now, and it's law enforcement on alert nationwide after former President Trump called for his supporters to protest today. Trump's language, of course, echoes his comments in the run up to the January 6th riot. And as a result, extra barricades are now in position around the criminal court in Lower Manhattan, where Trump could be indicted in connection to a hush money payment to an adult film star. Security has also been increased at the U.S. Capitol with new barricades and extra patrols. Robert Costa is outside the court in New York here. Uh, Bob, good morning. Good morning, Tony. Trump's Republican allies are now going after the district attorney leading this investigation, all as the protection around this court is on display. Steel barricades were brought into lower Manhattan after former President Donald Trump predicted his arrest and called for protests. Inside the courthouse, the grand jury continued its work on Monday, hearing from the potential final witness. He's totally unreliable. Attorney Bob Costello, a longtime Trump ally, was brought in to testify about Cohen's credibility. Cohen was Trump's former fixer and a key witness in this investigation. If they want to go after Donald Trump and they have solid evidence, so be it. But Michael Cohen is far from solid evidence. It was Cohen who made the alleged hush money payments to Stormy Daniels in the final days of the 2016 campaign. He later pleaded guilty to felony charges related to that payout. This has many similarities to a mob case for the main witness to have problems, blemishes, even convictions, and it will fall to the prosecution to say, sure, Michael Cohen has some issues, but here is why you can believe him. Many House Republicans are defending the former president and are calling on New York District Attorney Alvin Bragg to submit testimony on what they call a politically motivated prosecutorial decision. Some bookkeeping error from seven years ago is misdemeanor is now, now what they're going after. So it makes absolutely no sense. And Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, a potential 2024 rival to Trump, criticized the DA but also had this to say. I don't know what goes into paying hush money to a porn star to, to secure silence over some type of alleged affair. I just, I can't speak to that. CBS News has learned that an indictment of Trump is not expected today, but could come sometime later this week. Meanwhile, Trump's campaign has been issuing a flurry of fundraising appeals to his supporters. Gail. Bob, thank you. Very interesting comments from Ron DeSantis, and he said it with a straight face. It provided a bit of humor yesterday afternoon. Thank you very much, Bob Costas.